Hi there everyone, I thought I would show you the shot recording feature which we've added in R21.1. The shot recorder is a new device type which can be added into your Disguise project and enables you to record data during a shoot for later use in post-production. Primarily this is aimed towards virtual production in camera visual effects workflows but I'm sure lots of people will come up with other neat ways of using this tool now that we've made it available. What this tool allows you to do is set up something called a parameter collection. And a parameter collection is a collection of data points within the disguise world that you care about and want to log down into files for external data use. Uh, we automatically create these parameter collections when you create cameras and also when you create um, MR sets. And these are available for you to open up and view. So you can see the live data, for example, with the MR set where we will automatically add in all the cameras and their, um, their information about the uh, aspect ratio, the lens intrinsics, and also the position of the camera relative to um, the disguise stage, as well as the incoming tracking data. Um, and you can also create your own parameter collection. So let's create one now. I'm going to create just one called parameter collection. And within that, I can add both the pre-built collections and my own nominated sources. So let's imagine we wanted to log this setup. So I might well choose to log the video layer and draw an arrow between the sources and the video clip, the frame number, maybe the mapping that's in use and uh, brightness and also the blend mode, which are all really relevant if I wanted to do something with this clip in post-production. And then I might also choose to add in the uh, back weight tracking data so that I can find out where the camera is. Um, and I could also take, for example, my surface and actually take data about that. And that might be quite useful for post-production as well to know where the surface is, what scale it is, uh, any rotations applied to it, and also which mesh is in use for that, uh, that data. And if I wanted to, I could create a mini parameter collection for the surface that would have all that information in it as well, um, and then add that up here. Um, but once I've nominated that parameter collection, then it just re remains for me to link up a timecode source. So I'm using system timecode because I'm running on my laptop and choose the options that I want for the recording. So I can choose whether to take a snapshot or a screenshot after the recording. Those snapshots and screenshots link into the main disguise system. So the snapshots are here and I can see any snapshots I've recorded and then screenshots will just dump into the recordings folder for me to look later on for post-production to spot anything that might be going on in the stage that maybe I chose not to log and also then choose my export options. So I can choose the auto export where it will export at the end of the recording, or I can uh, disable that and manually export the recordings whenever I, uh, whenever I need them. The recordings will record down to an internal data format. So you can also change these export options later on if you need to. And um, then it remains for me to enter a slate name. So let's just call this um, the slate, take one, and then engage. That will start recording the data and it will record one uh, data dump every frame. So every time the frame is readed out from the system and um, we'll get a time code reference and also all of the uh, associated metadata. And then once I've recorded enough data, I can disengage. We've also implemented an API for this. So you can trigger this uh, from the APIs and there's also an Unreal Engine Switchboard plugin for this. So you can trigger it directly from Switchboard as well. So because I had auto export disabled, it's recorded my data down into the Disguise project and I can see it down here, but I don't have any exports yet. So I can then go in and select my export options, for example, an FBX file and a CSV file and then I can right click on a take and choose to export that take. I can also export all takes or I can export all recordings if I want to. Recordings get dropped into your disguise project folder in the output folder and I'll see a shot subfolder and then I can see the first slate take one and I can see the screenshot 
I can see the .shop file, which is the internal disguise format, a CSV file, which I can open up and uh, view every single frame if I want to, and all the metadata for all those frames, and then also an FBX file. And that FBX file will most commonly be used in post-production software. I'm going to bring it into Blender just to show you how this looks if I bring it in. And if I import that FBX into Blender from my um, project, should be here, shots for slate, pick one. I now get the mesh and I also get all of the camera keyframes. So as I play through my timeline, you'll see all of the camera motion exactly as it was in the disguise stage. I can choose when I'm exporting FBX and, and animation data, whether the animation is uh, zero aligned or is aligned with time code, whatever's most relevant to your post pipeline. And but there's tons of applications for this. I think people are going to make uh, really strong use of this feature for virtual production and in camera visual effects. I hope you like it. Please do let us know if you've got any questions.